guys welcome back to my channel welcome to my share so for today we're going to be doing a diy do it yourself okay so i'll be doing a diy of my vanity as you guys can see by the title so if you guys are new here welcome 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 don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below it is free the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video do not forget to follow me on my other social media platforms instagram twitter Snapchat, and tiktok the link will be down below for your convenience and yeah you guys let's get started so here I have my table top, it is from Ikea, I put the name right here and the inches right here as well, it's 63 by 31. And um, here are my two Alex drawer from Ikea as well, and um, yeah, it's time for us to mount this up. I think this is a bit too big, but the man at the Ikea store recommended this to me so I can have enough space and um i decided to go with whatever he says right because he works there he knows better he was like it's only 20 dollars more so i was like why not get a bigger a bigger one that i can have more space because i'm not only going to use this table for my makeup and hair and stuff i'll also be using the table to work you know to edit and things like that so i was like it's going to be like my editing and makeup table so why not get you know one that can give me more space so that's why we got a bigger one but I'm always willing to size down. I know they told me the 55 inch one was out of stock. So I don't mind, you know, getting it. They say we'll be back in stock next week. I don't mind getting it if this is too big. So, yeah, you guys. Let's get down to business. Here I have my tools. Probably said to let him know if I need any help. So I'll do just that. But based on all the videos I was seeing on YouTube, this doesn't seem super hard to do. So I decided to give it a try. Oh, yo, this is heavy. This is real, real heavy. Most people are saying that after you put one drop draw together, the second one should take you a few minutes to put because of you know it being easy after the first one. So let's just hope it's the case for us. Mm, this smells brand new. This smells brand new. We are almost done putting these on here. I'm watching a YouTube video showing me how to do it because I'm more of a visual learner. So if you feel like your manual is a bit confusing for you, just do that. Get the look at a video on YouTube and you should be able to do it. So now we have this. It's supposed to be three and three, and it's supposed to be every other ones, okay? So you put here, you skip this one, and so on. So there's a lot of videos on YouTube showing you how to do that. So that's easy. And now it's time to put in the wood. Um, these, what is it? these ones. You're supposed to put, to put it where there isn't this, so where you skipped so this goes on this side and i'll use um, a hammer to hit it but yeah get the drift so the next one is gonna go over there 
and so on we are actually getting somewhere you guys look at me i'm so tired but we got this we got this so this is how far we have gotten you guys it's pretty sturdy so we did an amazing job here um now it's time for me to put these drawers together and i'll show you guys the finished look like i said i'm watching a video on youtube showing me how to do that so there's a bunch of them that can you know show you how to put it together and i have done it all by myself i'm proud of myself and apparently there's a trick this is the bottom but if you want the bottom to hold the tabletop you just gotta flip it and make this the top so screws can go through here okay so lock it on the tabletop so you just learn the thing <laughs> this is how far we are i already made two drawers and these are so spacious we got three more to go so you guys most of the videos on youtube show that these go on there like i put it like that it's actually wrong these are what need to go on there so that's what i'm doing right now i'm changing from these which is like the silver one metalish one to the plastic one so that's what i'm doing right now i have to remove all those and put those instead okay these one i use for the drawers so that i use like this instead okay i don't know based on all the youtube reviews they used to uh, use these for everything but i don't know maybe it got expensive for them so now they give us these little thick metal looking ones plastic anyways so yeah make sure when you're watching the youtube videos you if you got the newer ones like if you bought your ikea drawer in 2023 and it doesn't only have these it has these together make sure you use these on the actual drawer to mount it and this one on the drawer so yeah because you don't want to be doing what i'm doing right now i'm literally removing all of the ones that are already on there guys we are all done with the drawers we are done with the table it's now time to put the drawers in the table um and spray it up so the great part about this is we have these already installed so the easiest way for us to do this is putting the drawer in there you guys see these you just slide it in there there we, there we go. And now there's some um, holes that you can just drill in. It's right here. It goes right in there. So you can just draw this in. You can literally roll it too. So it'll be faster if you drill it in on both ends. So I did all this by myself. Like, horrible. I'm so proud of myself. 
Last but certainly not least. Is this so y'all look how good it looks? And we are done. Draw one is done, you guys. It's time to do the second one, but this time it will be off camera because I gotta move quickly. I got to move quickly. These four are for the top. If I end up wanting to put um to actually screw on my table my tabletop, I will have to use these. Other than that, and also if I want this to be, I can just stick it at the bottom on the leg. But people around were saying that it's really useless, so I probably won't use it. But yeah, you guys, let's do the next one. All right, you guys, both drawers are up and working perfectly, you guys. I'm so proud of myself. Like. I really need this and they're so spacious I love them so far so now it's time to put the tabletop okay let's put the tabletop and see how it's gonna be looking like I'm scared that that end will be blocking it a bit but let's see by the way the tabletop have some holes at the bottom like I showed you guys I can actually um, connect it which I don't think I'll do oh this is huge <laughs> this is huge y'all this is really big actually bigger than i expected all right you guys that is what it's looking like right now i'll let you guys what i end up doing as far as the tabletop this is the mirror we're going to be putting on here for right now i'll keep you guys updated so i'll see you guys in today all right you guys our mirror is here it's time to put it on top of this i'm super excited because i'm just gonna wait to see how it will look because i feel like it will look so good and on top of that this mirror comes with a lot of features that I cannot wait for you guys to discover. We're going to discover it together and try it out together. So yeah, you guys, I also changed the positioning of the vanity. It used to be over there. So that table was actually here. So I moved that table from being here to there and the vanity from being over there to here because there's more lighting coming in when I'm here. So I'll be able to film and do more things from the vanity being here. So this is where we're going to have the vanity for now. Um, yeah, you guys, let's get started. Let me move the chair a little bit to the side, okay? And let's open this up. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness. Let's just open this up. I'll make sure I link the vanity down below. So make sure you guys check it out. I'll make sure I link it. Oh, this is really tight. It's to really secure this. So make sure you guys definitely check out um, the Amazon link down below for the vanity so you guys can get yours if you guys are interested in creating um, this similar vanity. And definitely add me on Instagram, Snapchat, and send me, you know, videos and pictures of the vanity you have tried and based on my video, you know. If I inspired you to make your vanity, I want to see it. <laughs> I do. The way they close this up, I have no choice but to rip it out. So we're gonna have to fast forward this part so you guys don't be here all day. But it looks very well secured, so stand of the mirror at the bottom right there um it came with that base detached it came with the, the plug okay it came with some screws extra screws um this to clean the mirror uh the thing to tighten up your nail Two extra light bulbs and the attachment of course and this magnifier mirror okay and this one just gets suction like this it has a suction um thing at the back so just like that 
there we go so let me talk to you guys a bit about the features of this mirror before i put it up are you ready first let's talk about the side it comes with a usb um port and this one this looks like an android type of port okay and it comes with this so this is where you're going to put in the cord to plug it and one of the best parts is the back y'all y'all see that yeah let me make sure y'all really seeing it yep those are speakers it has speakers so while i'm getting ready i can be playing music from my mirror i know you're about to go get it i know you're about to go purchase yours I didn't even get paid to talk about this, but the features made me buy it. Not only is huge, it also comes with speakers, the USB port, so you can charge your phone while you're getting ready. Definitely sold. So here is the cord. It's time for me to plug it so we can. <laughs> I'm excited. Y'all heard that? Oh, wow. This is so nice. So, on this side is where we have all the plugs, the plugs to plug into the mirror. We have the USB charging port right here and the Type C charging port right here. So, yeah, all the plugs are right here. And it's perfect because that is on the side where I do have the outlet. So, that's great. Now, let's let's tie these features together oh my goodness y'all i'm so excited i'm like a kid at a candy store um one two wow three and that's all it comes with three lighting settings here is the plus button minus button i'm guessing that's for the volume and this one blinking right here is the bluetooth so let's connect it to the bluetooth and see how loud it gets and how good it sounds, okay? So, how do we go about that? Bluetooth. Oh, it came up music makeup mirror, period. It's connected! <laughs> it's connected, you guys. Hold on. Let me move on the side for y'all, okay? It's connected. So, let's go to YouTube. And I believe when it's connected, it doesn't blink anymore. This is not an unboxing video. So I'm just telling you guys the features real quick. So you guys can get, get it if you guys are interested. Like I said, the Amazon link will be right down below for your convenience. Before we test out the sound, let me just let you guys know that the plus and minus have arrows, okay? The plus has an arrow to the left. The minus has an arrow to the right. So those arrows are also to go back to the previous song or go to the next song okay so if you press the arrow to the left you will be going to the previous song and if you press the arrow to the right which is the minus one you'll be going to the next song okay so that is amazing as well now let's test out the sound and see what it sounds like if you guys know Fali that's the song yes i recommend i recommend it's loud but not super loud like you are the club i love it i recommend it now let's see if it's gonna change to the next song or the next clip let's see because i'm on youtube let's see So yeah, I saw that pressing the minus button, which is on my right, okay, made me go to the next song. And let's try to press the plus button and see if it will bring us back to the song we were at. It did. It's commercial time. press the minus button which is on my right to see if it's going to send me to the next song 
of my you know playlist here on YouTube. So as you guys could see, it moved me to the next song. Now let me press the plus, which is on my left, which is supposed to be bringing me back to Fali's song that I was just playing. Let's try that. I don't want to get copyrighted, so you guys, this mirror is amazing. By the way, you guys, every single thing I showed on this DIY was purchased with my own money, you guys. No one contacted me to talk about it or paid me to talk about it. So what I'm talking about, which, whether it's the IKEA tabletop, whether it's the IKEA Alex George, the mirror, I purchased all that with my own money. And also, before I forget, I did change the tabletop. I went to another IKEA and saw that they had the 55 inch available. So this is the 55 inch tabletop. So I got that instead, and I think it looks amazing. I returned the previous one because it was too big. So yeah, you guys, that is what my vanity is looking like. I already put in some stuff, by the way. I wasn't playing. While I was waiting for the mirror to come, I was organizing it already. So it's ready for use. So I also wanted to mention that this mirror is 39.4 inch by 31.5 inch, okay? So it is pretty huge. Just in case the camera is not picking up how big this is, it is huge, okay? And it was one of the biggest mirror I found on Amazon. So definitely look it up. Look at it, do your research. I love it. I would definitely recommend it to anybody to get it, especially if you are making your own DIY vanity at home. This mirror will definitely do it for you. And the Alex George, the tabletop, everything will do it for you. You can also find dupes, but I wanted to go with the original, you know, tabletop from IKEA and Alex George from IKEA. So yeah, you guys. I also will list this chair down below. Okay, it's also from Amazon, and it was. 60 some dollars pretty affordable so yeah and it's really comfortable to sit on all right you guys that's the end of today's diy video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below it is free and turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video if you guys enjoy my diy video let me know down below comment more diys because your girl just moved so i have so many ideas so i can do a lot of diy video for you guys if you guys are interested of course so comment more diy videos in the comment section down below so i know that you guys actually enjoyed the diy videos comment down below if my vanity inspired you to make your own vanity at home i would really like to know i want to make sure that the videos i'm posting for you guys are actual videos that you guys would like to see so comment down below more diys and let me know if my vanity inspired you to make yours you can also tag me on the vanity you have made based on my video so i can repost it so if you're a returning subscriber it is all love thank you so much for your love and support do not forget to follow me on my streaming platform instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok the link will be down below in the description box for your convenience and yeah you guys i'll catch you guys on my next one bye guys